Igombe state government has appealed to southern state government to reconsider their push to keep value added tax VAT generated from their state. Ah, ah. I don't get so this uh, so called one Nigeria, one Nigeria is as a result of all these uh, things coming from the from the south. Oh no, it's not as if we don't know, but now they are coming out to even attest to the fact that yes what people have been accusing them of but they always talk about oh we have a population we have this we have that we are the one in control control of what then control yourselves so yes appealing to the southern government that they should not collect the vats but you know that we, people say we have been practicing that is not that not that people say that is exactly what it is unitary system of government then what is now why do we always say that a, a Federal Republic of Nigeria? What is Federal Republic of Nigeria? That is in paper, but in practical, it is a unitary system of government. I think all of them were making much this and that. The Casino State Government said it's going to take a, or you know, it's going to, it's going to court to reverse that judgment. We are talking about federating units. Let everybody feed yourself. You have you always brag that you have population this, you have population that. So <laughs> these guys, eh, they are so so funny. Muhammad Magaji, the state commissioner for finance and economic creation, made the appeal at the start of a technical workshop on the development of the state's medium term sector strategy. He stated that the other states, particularly those in the southern region, should set emotions aside and become their brother's keepers in sharing the vast produce in their respective jurisdiction. Ah, do, do these people, do they, are they okay? The demand came in response to governors, governors Babagide Sonwulu of Lagos and Yeson Wiki of Rivers taking moves to begin vast collections in their respective states. Last month, the court had issued an order restraining FIRS from collecting VAT and personal income tax in river states and directed the state government to take charge of the collection following the court's judgment. Wiki signed the VAT law number no. 4 of 2021 on August 19. Speaking at the event, Magaji said with the declining money from the Federation account, just three of the country's 36 states could exist without assistance from the Nigerian government. <laughs> You see their life, they are beginning to expose themselves. Ah, I want to be governor. I want to be this. They don't have anything just to go to Abuja and collect money and they share it. That is all. They can't create anything. That is why you see riffraffs at the end of affairs. You see their life. So what can you create on your own? What are the things that you can do to bring money? And they are all embedded in every state. There's no state that is not having one natural resources or the other. There are a lot of things that they can even do, but they will not think about that. All of them are waiting for oil money, oil money, oil money, oil money. Yeah, so, what people have been saying that say, you guys, that is why you are clamoring for one Nigeria. Okay, it's a, you know, people know that, but they always try to say, no, that is not the issue. Oh, no wonder Buari will tell you that say, our unity uh, is uh, whatever cannot be negotiated. This is it, but now they are confirming it themselves. So we can see that there's no atom of shame. Can you imagine? <laughs> well, the vast issue will have, have adverse effects not only on Gombe State but almost all the states of the Federation. I was part of the discussion few weeks ago by all commissioners of finance across the country. The realization was that only Lagos, Rivers, and probably Delta states will be able to pull through without this vat being administered centrally and it is our appeal that we all put sentiment behind and work towards a federation that is won by being our brother's keepers and ensuring that what is put together at the center is distributed to be able to balance resources across the country magaji said according to him it will be a very bad development that won't all go away for the country if every state we ask for control of its resources. He added, don't forget that the oil producing states collect only 13% derivation. So if you say every state will take whatever resources it has, that it means we are starting a very dangerous tragedy. Tragedy. 
that will not all go well for the federation called Nigeria. Uh -uh. We are still talking about a federation. What does that mean? Federation means that each state should have power. They should be they, they should be autonomous. So what are we talking about? These people do not have shame. So you have nothing to even contribute. Then why creating all those states? Why creating all those states in the first place when they cannot feed themselves? When they cannot fend for themselves? <laughs> No, you can't have millions of votes to rig elections in your favor, yet the millions don't pay taxes. Restructuring had begun. All these lazy northern governors, you guys should go and generate wealth for their states by finding a proper means of creating revenue base, revenue base to cater for their state and stop relying heavily on the federation account, which is no longer working well for the country. In Africa, we are brothers. In the world, we are brothers, but in country, we are no brothers. Support separation and let everyone take a walk to his own nation. The southern ship had sailed already. And no going back, northern nations should just plan how they want to run their governments. We want to run our governments and develop our own nation without any headache a beg. They have already polluted Nigeria with terrorists. From different nations to kill and occupy our territories for Islamization. We can't fall for this again. I said it before that population can only win election but cannot rig bring development. Can you see now that with all the population in the north, my dear neighbors are begging the region with the lower population to consider them. You can imagine, especially the dot the dot nation. No way restructuring is happening already the same way you were able to turn in millions of votes. At every election, you should be able to generate income. Same way, you must be insane. Brothers keep passing since 1960, no progress. But you set back for another 50 years. Only foolish elders in the southern region interested in their personal and political interests will continue with this satanic entity called Nigeria. I see why the northern states carry one Nigeria for head like Gala. Okay. Restructure, they said no. True fiscal federalism, mba. Okay. Igu pojo. Chai. So now you can preach this type of sermon because you don't read. I thought you guys own Nigeria. Financial deprivation is the only thing that can humble the north. The worst is that the north will not be used to better the lives of Use it to better the lives of the citizens. Instead, the political class and the constituted authority will lavish it on expensive lifestyle. There is relatively peace in the south, yet governments, the governments and the armed forces are trying everything humanly possible to make it a war zone. But God passed them. Hmm, they are now begging. So guys, let's hear your opinion on this.